Hello guys, Rohan here. Welcome back to the channel. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the head chopping effect like this one right here very easily with the help of CapCut application. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe now. Open the CapCut application, click on new project and choose a background overlay. Here I choose the grid background overlay. Link will be in the description. So this is how the project interface looks like. So now here we need to add the model PNG image by clicking on overlay. Click on add overlay and choose the model PNG. Position the PNG image properly. Now with the PNG image layer selected, swipe the menu bar to the left and click on mask. Here we need to select the circle shaped mask. And now make a selection like this. First of all, we need to invert the selection by clicking on this invert icon on the bottom left corner and then make a cutout on the forehead area like this. With the help of these two handles, you can adjust the width and height of the shape according to your needs. After done, click on OK. So this is what we got as of now. Now we need to add one more copy of the PNG image. To get that, click on copy and now we got a copy of it. Now we need to simply drag the duplicated PNG layer beneath the original one. Now with the duplicated layer selected, click on mask and just we need to invert the selection by clicking on invert. I think I placed the duplicated layer one frame ahead. So let me correct it. Yeah, it's done. Now we need to select the duplicated PNG layer and then add a keyframe at the beginning by clicking on this icon right here and then come few frames forward and then slide the image in upward direction like this as shown here. Make sure you move it in a straight alignment. So this is how it looks after adding the slide up animation. Now click on overlay and add the brown background image like this one right here. Link will be in the description. Now we need to convert it into a circle shape by clicking on mask. Before doing anything, make sure you minimize the opacity to see through what's going on. Now click on mask and select the circle shape. Now come few frames forward and with the help of these two handles make a shape like this. And then increase the opacity to its fullest. Now we need to send the circle shape behind the model cutout by clicking on layers. Select the layer number 1 and click on OK. Now adjust the circle properly. Yeah, it looks perfect now. Now we need to add some adjustments to it by clicking on adjust. Select the shadow property and decrease its value to get a 3D look. After done, click on OK. And now extend the background layer till the end of the video. Yeah, it looks perfect, isn't it? To make the edit look more interesting, you can add some images like brain, money or any other images that you want. Here, I am using the money PNG. Now, come few frames forward on the timeline to see the cutout. And then minimize the scale of the PNG like this. After done, place it over the head like this. Now, come to the beginning of the video and add a keyframe by clicking on the keyframe icon right here. And then come to the frame where the head movement ends. And then simply slide the money PNG upwards like this. So, this is how it looks as of now. To send the money PNG behind, select the money PNG layer and click on layer in the menu bar. And then send the money PNG layer to number 2 position by clicking on number 2. So yeah, this is the final output guys. In this way, you can easily create the most popular head chopping effect which is used by most of the video creators to make their edits more interesting. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe if you haven't yet.